Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is gonna be a little bit of a different type of video. Uh, now, you may think this is a joke video, especially with the last few joke videos of me being in front of the camera without a special background, but this is an actual serious video. Uh, I just wanna talk about some things, get them off my chest that have to deal with my personal life, uh, stuff with the channel, you know, like, I don't know, there's probably not gonna be any uh, background footage in this. It's just gonna be me talking directly to the camera. There might be some uh, background music, but that's really it. Very minimal editing, if at all, but um, yeah, so this is gonna be like one of my classic videos where uh, I just talk in front of the camera and just do whatever, but um, yeah, so I've mentioned some of these stuff already in community posts, but uh, not everyone reads those community posts, but I just feel like I need to be honest with you guys. There's been a lot of stuff going on uh, recently. I'll talk about the channel part first. Uh, so I've been dealing a lot with if I should add more playlists for the channel, like add a Mario playlist, add a Zelda playlist, Xenoblade, a Splatoon playlist, you know, for dedicated games. Uh, I, I've been messing around with that for like two, three days now, adding uh, multiple playlists uh, of those games and then deleting them and then adding them again. And like, it's just, it's just hard for me because uh, I did a poll asking you guys what, uh, what you guys think. And most of you actually did say, oh, do dedicated game playlists. And I appreciate that. And I do wanna try to implement it. But man, is it so hard because because this is just how my brain works, my autistic brain. Um, I I don't know if I should make it like, oh, only be Mario dedicated videos like that only have Mario or have videos that involve Mario to some extent. Like, you know, like I've done some videos where I talk about like, for example, the Nintendo Directs, like what they announced there in Mario's mentioned, like, because it was one of the games that was announced. Do I put that in the Mario playlist or do I only put stuff where I only play Mario or only talk about Mario? Uh, like the Thousand Year Door video, how that's a big deal. That That's obviously going in the Mario uh, section if I were to have one. But like, there's other videos where, ugh, does it fit in this section or not? And I just been struggling with that and, it's just really hard and especially hard for live streams where uh, there's like multiple live streams where I play multiple games and and do I put all those live streams in the multiple playlists or do I not include them? Do I only have it for when I play in one game? I, I don't know and it's just causing me so much stress and I know it's literally not a big deal like to you guys. It doesn't matter that much but to me it does like I, I just feel like I want to make these playlists like perfect but I know there's nothing in the world that's perfect and it's so annoying because I want to I've tried to figure out okay do only Mario videos that I only talk about or play Mario do they go in there or videos that involve Mario to some extent like oh Smash Bros uh, do I put them in like all the playlists of all the dedicated games or do I put it in some of the games like it's hard to decide decide and I don't know what to do and it's really annoying and I've been going back and forth on uh, adding those playlists on deleting them I feel like I almost should not do it, but at the same time, most of you guys want them. So I feel like I have to do it, but I just don't know. Um, that's why I brought back the the autism and joke video playlist, which I didn't like, honestly. Uh, because it just it's another complicated thing where, oh, uh, do these go on the autism playlist? Do these go in the joke video playlist? I think the joke videos are all good now. I think... I know what I want to specify them as. All the videos on there I feel like are pretty good uh, and I think fit the joke video thing. The autism one is getting there, though I still have some doubts on some certain videos, but it's getting there. Now I'm having second thoughts on the non-gaming playlist because there's like some videos that 
uh, for example, where I cover like Crunchyroll uh, or Twitch or YouTube, like I browse them on the Switch, you know, um, I don't think some of them would count as non-gaming because I mean, Crunchyroll has literally nothing to do with gaming except for uh, the fact that I was using the Switch to access it. But then do I put that not in the non-gaming session? Uh, section like like what do I do there? Uh, but so I've been having like slightly doubts about the non-gaming section again um, It's just so complicated with these playlists and I just I don't know what I should do and I would really love your opinions guys like I Want to make those dedicated game playlists, but I don't know if I should do it like only those games uh or games that involve it because it could go either way and like it could a easily add or uh subtract like 50 or like 100 more videos in each playlist that and i don't know man um so that's been one thing i've been dealing with uh just a lot of the struggles with that and that's why i haven't been like doing uh lots of major videos uh or uh or live streams and Again, it doesn't matter that much to you guys probably, but it matters to me and I hate that. Like, I just want to figure this out. Um, again, like, my gut is telling me don't do it. Don't do those playlists because I honestly don't think I need them. But at the same time, lots of you guys want them, so I don't know. Like, um, and that's the same similar thing with... Uh, of the fan <laughs> i asked a poll of ask you guys what you think of the fan uh there's a fan here i don't think you guys can hear it that much uh, i think the one you guys were referring to mostly was the one when i'm in the living room here uh where i'm doing live streams or now a gameplay video uh where i have the fan in the background and it's very clearly loud i think you can hear this one but like barely uh, but like the other one, yeah, it's loud. Um, uh, and most of you guys, well, it was almost 50-50, but, uh, it evened it out to say that you guys don't mind, but there were still a big amount of you that didn't like that. So I've been, like, thinking about that, like, oh, do I, like, I don't want to suffer in the heat because it's going to be summer soon. It's going to be hot. And, like, I don't know, man, but I, I just don't know what to do uh because the popular opinion in that case it's a little bit different because the popular opinion was you know keep it on or whatever but there was still a big sizable amount of you guys that don't like the fan on and i just can't ignore that right like it's hard to be like a youtuber content creator whatever you want to call it because you have to listen to the fans to the viewers but at the same time you don't want to uh stretch yourself too thin uh you want to do what you want so like and I, I don't know man i don't know what i'm gonna do i would love some input um but yeah that's like one part of the this video the other part is more personal stuff um i oh my god i've been feeling more down lately not just because of the channel stuff but uh, I've been having dreams more so I usually have dreams every so often but I've been having dreams more often now of oh my god of of me like having relationships or or trying to find a girl or something specifically a lot that has to do with persona funny enough uh like one of them involved uh Yukari one of the main characters and then the other one involved that that uh, girl that has glasses or whatever, that like Psy girl, Ch Ch Chiroi, I, I don't know if I said the name right at all, probably not, but uh, so like it had to deal with that one. That one was the most recent one, but Yukari, that, that dream was like like two days ago, but um, I've been having those dreams again where like, oh, like I am back in school and it either involves those fictional characters uh, like fictional characters of Persona, or one time it was uh, the uh, Juniper uh, from Xenoblade 3, uh, that uh, that cat person, uh, non-binary, whatever. Um, but uh, with that, or it's like people that I did like, specifically that Jehovah Witness girl, which I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys her name. Uh, That's her first name, obviously, not her 
last name that would be dumb um but uh, i'm tired of the same jehovah witness girl um i haven't been honest about that along with another thing i want to bring up a little bit later but uh i haven't been honest but here's a name her name was clarissa there you go clarissa that was her name i've alluded to it like once or twice uh somewhere i never said the name but i've alluded to it but yeah that was her name clarissa uh and she was the girl that again jehovah witness girl that we did used to like each other we uh we could have been something and i still think about her i in fact i've in fact i i was i tried contacting her through discord that's how we were like um we, we messaged each other because she didn't have her phone uh in middle school so we messaged each other through discord and i think she blocked me on one of her accounts she used her brother's account uh before she created her own account uh and she didn't block me on her brother's account so i tried messaging her through that account but she hasn't responded and i don't think she ever will and I think maybe that was a bad idea, but like, I just wanted to find closure because the way things ended off with her was not good. Uh, we got into kind of a fight. There was another guy that, uh, it was weird with, uh, because like she, uh, it was weird because she uh, would always like someone and then like someone new would come in and then kind of replace that person uh and like like so at first it was this guy that she was in elementary school with and then uh this other guy who was kind of my nemesis in mid middle school we were competing for her but like uh he took over as like the main guy in her life uh then i took over and then this guy this new guy uh in high school was starting to take over as the new guy in her life but uh but yeah there was like a fight thing and we didn't talk at all and I, I hate that. Uh, maybe it's a bad thing uh, that I tried to contact her, but but yeah, I, I've I kept dreaming about that or just you know fixing the girls like oh having a relationship or uh, or even other crushes I had on like I had a kind of a crush. I I tried to talk to this girl in my theater class in my last year of high school before I dropped out. And she was asexual, but not like the asexual that I kind of think I am. I think I'm asexual, by the way, in case that was news to you. Don't really think about the sex stuff. But um, but she was the kind of asexual where uh, she uh, didn't like anyone. She had no crushes, nothing. So that was the girl in my theater class. I dreamt about her once. But um, it keeps mostly being about these fictional girls or... Uh, Clarissa you know and I I hate it because every time I wake up it makes me so depressed in all honesty because it, it just sucks because I want because I feel bad that I am like this I am autistic I hate sometimes I hate that about myself but I also love that about myself it's a weird complicated thing um Oh my god, I, I'm sorry if I cried during this, but I've always been different. I've had crushes before and I couldn't deal with them and they never worked out. Again, the only one that could have worked out, literally couldn't, was Jehovah Witness. Couldn't even date me. Um, but I've tried a couple times, like, you know, to get into a relationship and nothing and... And like the same thing with friends also, it, it just feels a bit lonely to not have like any friends uh, that many. I've had a few, you know, and I know some of you guys, some of my viewers uh, think of me as a friend uh, and I appreciate that, I really do. But it's not the same, especially with people online. Um, it's not the same, but I do appreciate that. Thank you a lot, but, um, but, that I've had only a few real life close friends 
Uh, but even then, most of the friends, quote unquote, that I had, that were, uh, were because I was pretending to be like a social person. Like in middle school, I had lots of friends, except not really. I was like trying to be all social, all uh, pranky, all like, uh, you know, like them, you know, and that wasn't me at all. I've had ounces of like little bits of them, but like, uh, and like I showed my true self every now and, and again, but like overall I was just trying to be like them, uh, be kind, not a troublemaker, but like kind of mess around in class. Uh, 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 if they, if any, if any of my friends were not in class, I would be basically my normal self, like quiet, uh, work, hard working self, but if they were in the same class as me, I would not fool around, but have a little bit more fun, which was nice. Uh, but, oh my god, like, at the same time, it wasn't me, and uh, it's just hard because I just feel like, uh, again, autism is both a blessing and a curse. Uh, if you've seen Monk, you know, it's a gift and a curse, you know, because, uh, because I, there's a lot of good things about me because I am autistic, because I am this way, I feel like I'm more kinder, I have more, um, I'm, I'm more most known because of how I am autistic. I relate to people more, I feel. But at the same time, it's just hard to communicate with others. It's hard to communicate with uh, family, even. The only people I'm close with is my mom and my brother. And my brother half the time hates me. I know he loves me. I know. But we are you. That's what siblings do. But sometimes he hurts me. Like when he says things like, oh, you can. Uh, uh, I'm going to go to college. Uh, you can't cook. Uh, even though I do plan to go to college. But like he says like these kind of mean things like you know I can't cook I can't do this or that for myself why don't I do it but I know he loves me and and my mom I know we argue sometimes in fact <laughs> she uh she and I argued uh, a little bit ago today because uh she and this is another thing I'm gonna be honest with you guys about uh I mentioned a family friend before in videos um that family friend is like my mom. It's even complicated for me to explain. It's like my mom's boyfriend slash kind of my stepfather, kind of sort of. It's like a weird, complicated relationship. Uh, I'm not gonna be fully honest about it, but that's basically they're just uh, uh, my family friend or whatever that helped me out and uh, watches the channel and all that stuff. It's like basically my mom's like boyfriend slash my stepfather, kind of sort of. Anyway. He and my mom were both upset at a video uh, that I posted today of uh, the short of persona of like me shooting myself. Uh, but it was just part of because if you've seen the game, you know that's how they activate their persona, their power. Uh, and they got upset because you know, oh, gun realistic, you know. I don't necessarily blame them, but at the same time, I was like. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know, but the point be the point I'm saying is that we argue. That's fine. We're close though. But besides that, I'm not really close with any other family. I love my grandma a lot. Uh, we hang out like you know at Christmas time, you know. But I don't. I feel weird talking to her, and I hate that. I used to be a little bit closer with my cousin, uh, but. Like we we haven't seen each other for a while and the last time we saw each other was like Like three years ago, and I didn't really say anything to him uh, Because it was only like a brief like few minutes that we interacted uh, because we came to visit uh, His house along with you know my uncle, you know, but uh, But yeah, I hate that I'm not close that I'm not interactive with people even my own family, but I can't do that with a relationship, with a girlfriend, or friends, you know, and it just makes me feel lonely, especially after those dreams where I wake up and then I'm like, I am alone, basically, and I've been trying to avoid it, to think about this, uh, 
and for the most part it's been working you know there's been a few times where i've been like slipping uh but i usually just focus on the youtube channel or i focus on play games so i don't think about that stuff but uh ever since i started playing persona and that's made me think about all these things way more so uh which is why uh part of the reason another reason why i haven't been streaming besides the whole complicated with the channel stuff and the playlist uh i eventually i do want to do a persona 3 stream again but i haven't played persona 3 in a little bit because i'm trying to not play that as much because every time I play it, one, it's just bad because like I play it for like 10 hours a day or whatever and like it's like a long period of time and that causes me poor sleep and all that stuff. But at the same time that causes me to uh, like after I'm done playing that makes me want to go back to playing it and then when I'm not playing it I think about how really lonely my life is. Like I don't really have that many people in my life and it just sucks i don't have a girlfriend i don't have friends i don't and like ugh, just dumb 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 I, uh, I don't know man i like i'm not going to school right now and if i do i'm probably gonna do online classes for college uh because i couldn't even deal with high school i Again, I'm sorry if I'm crying too much, but it just like, makes me wonder, like, do I, am I going to end up alone? <laughs> Will I? <sighs> okay, let me just calm that out a bit. Uh, I don't know how much, if any, I'm going to edit out of this video, but... I just don't know if I, again, I'm gonna be alone if, will I ever find someone, will I ever have five friends, you know, will I ever get a real job? Uh, I would love for YouTube to work out, you know, I could never leave my house, but at the same time, maybe I should leave my house, because uh, I don't know how to do so many things. I don't know how to cook, obviously, like I mentioned earlier. I don't know how to drive, though I did want to learn to drive. It's just my family situation isn't the best. Uh, like, my mom was scared to teach me how to drive, and uh, we can't afford it. Like, all, so many things. Uh, uh, but even that, like... But, like, I don't know how to do these things. And some of them are not simple fixes, but, like, they can be learned eventually. But other ones, like, the way I am with people, the way I am uh, interacting with people, I don't think that can be fixed. I don't. Uh, I used to believe it could because, uh, because my dad, you know, uh, he passed away. He was a great guy. I would always imagine, like, you know, if he didn't die, I would end up more so, so more, uh, you know, more like him, where he was like a cool dude who, uh, like, like, he would always try to, uh, and like the story, like, my mom would tell me that. He, uh, because he used, he and my mom used to kind of take care of my uh, uncle because my uncle was like pretty young compared to them. Uh, so he was kind of like their old Prito son. Uh, but like, uh, like he, uh, my mom would tell me stories of like how, uh, how my dad would tell my uncle like, oh, you gotta talk to that girl, you know, be more confident, do this and that, you know. Uh, and like I like to imagine that I could. They could have been me, but part of me thinks that it, I think it would have been a little bit more so so, but probably not by months. Because again, I used to think that, oh, I wasn't autistic. I was just weird and sad and depressed and sigh and all that other stuff that is similar to autism, but not really. <sighs> but yeah, I, I don't know. Um... I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Um, uh, 
God, I, I'm sorry, guys. I, uh, I just, I don't know, man. When I look around this room here, uh, I see some awards of things like that. You know, like right there, I see a student of a month award uh, that I got for my first month that I was in middle school, um, and. Uh, I never got it again, but I've got another reward, like for being like a, uh, doing good on like grades or uh, I was like the best in theater, uh, which is crazy to think about an autistic person in theater. Uh, but I'm used to like having a good imagination, so I kind of came a little bit easier, even though I was interacting with people. Though my theater classes were always pretty small, especially the one in heck, seventh grade, I was only like six people. Well, five people and me, you know, so. But uh, one of them was my friend, uh, that one of my true friends, actually. But, uh, but yeah, like, like I just think about, like, oh, look at all these awards. And then I ended up dropping out of high school because I couldn't deal with it. Uh, and, like, I just think about, like, oh, how would things be different if I was, like, I'll try to push myself a little bit more, try to interact with more people, try to get more real friends, get a girlfriend, you know? Um, instead of just pretending or imagining or dreaming, whatever. Like, I'm also gonna be honest about another thing too. I have thought about and kind of looked into online dating, um, but every time I attempt to do something, I chicken out because I don't think it's worth it honestly I would feel like it it just won't be worth it I would be better to talk with people in person I and like I am like an old soul I I, I grew up with not that much technology so I kind of know uh, about stuff like you know VHS's you know uh, flip phones uh, but, but like uh even then like i just love like older technology and i grew up uh with that uh so like i'm an old-fashioned person i meet old people like you know in person but like i, I think like maybe all i did it could work out but at the same time i feel like there's like so many issues that could go on with it you know i've heard many many of stories you know of bad things happening and so I don't go through with it, but I have looked into it. I've downloaded apps and then I deleted them like almost immediately after. Uh, looked into Discord dating, you know, you know, that's a whole, that, I don't think that's the best idea, but the point being is like, I've looked into these things and just so I could maybe do something, but I think the only way would be just to talk to more people in real life. But I don't know if I can do that because I would first need to get a real job, which I don't even know what job I would want because every job is so hard and and I just don't know and uh, and And then there's school, but I don't think I could like go back to college, but I don't know if I would able, even be able to do that. Uh, but like, I would love to learn, you know, uh, how to drive and, co and cook and all that stuff. Uh, and, and go to like these public places, but I just don't know if I ever will, uh, at least in the same way. And I, I hate that. I hate that. that uh, Part of me is like, yeah, I think I could learn it, but at the same time, there's like some things I can't learn, uh, and that makes me a little bit worried. Like, what am I going to heckin' do with the rest of my life? And uh, this is hard to think about. Uh, it really is. Uh, Um, but yeah, I honestly, I don't really have much to say. I just wanted to get this off my chest, all of the 
stuff on the channel, how I've been stressing out on, and like this, these two things are interlinked a lot because, you know, uh, I get depressed, but I'm like, oh, I gotta focus on the channel, uh, maybe I'll edit playlists around, but then like it gets overwhelming, so then I'm like, let me take a break, and then I think about my life, and then I think about, you know, it's just a cycle, and like, it just, it's hard, and I just don't know what to do. <laughs> I would hope I do hope one day I'll I find someone I hope I do I find friends I find a job. I find the stuff, you know, that works out for me and fits me. Um, even though there will always be struggles. <sighs> you know, my life isn't perfect. It never was ever since my, my dad passed away. That still hurts, by the way. I... <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry uh, about this, but I still miss my dad. <laughs> he was so nice. He was so. He actually used to stay here uh, when he was sick. He used to stay here. I would sleep uh, in the late couch there in the living room thing. Along with my mom. I think my mom would sleep on the floor. Uh, we, uh, my brother has a room, but that used to not be a bedroom that used to have like a couch in it or something. But my dad used to be here. Uh, you know, this was always intended to be my room. Uh, and he would stay here because when he was sick, because he couldn't really move that much, uh, because of his like liver kidney. I think it was liver, liver disease, uh, and like you know he was an older person, but uh, he was like one of the nicest people, I, and I wish he was around. Like, I was sure he would offer great advice. He would be. He would help me out. <sighs> but yeah, uh, I think this is a good thing that I make this video. Part of me is a little bit hesitant, like, do I even post this? But I think you guys need to know how I'm feeling, how I think, because people watch these, uh, people watch the channel, and I'm thankful for it, in fact, there's multiple videos that have been getting popular, in fact, recently, the, my recent, uh, collection video, uh, so I'm finding new viewers, uh, but I just feel like I need to share it with long and new type viewers, you know, how I'm feeling, uh, in fact, probably my mom is gonna watch this, my, uh, mom's boyfriend slash stepfather. I, I don't know. It's like a weird relationship thing. I, 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 I could go into more detail, but I don't want to. But that's the most detail you're going to get, basically. Uh, but, uh, but yeah. So, I wonder what you're going to say about this. Hmm. Uh, I know they love me. I know. I know. Uh, I just wish, like, Again, I I wish I had friends. I wish I had a girlfriend, you know? I'm not saying that would help everything. I'm just saying that that would be, be nice, you know? And on top of that, learn how to cook. Learn how to drive. Learn how to actually have a heckin' job because... Uh, God. Will I ever accomplish these things? Will I ever... 
you know, find a relationship, find friends. Uh, will I ever figure out the deal with the playlist? I have no idea. Uh, if you guys have any advice on any of this, on the playlist, on my own things that I mentioned, uh, let me know. I would love it. Uh, this is cheaper than therapy. <laughs> Uh, I used to actually go to therapy when, uh, when I was younger, uh, when my dad passed away, like, but my mom couldn't afford it anymore, so, you know, so I actually did used to go to therapy, uh, and I try not to think about this stuff, about, about, like, oh, because I'm still heartbroken over what happened with, uh, the Clarissa, you know, uh, I, I'm still heartbroken over it. I still haven't gotten over it. I still keep having dreams about her. Uh, and I just don't like that. I wish I could move on, but she was the only person that that I liked her and she liked me. And there was like two times where two girls liked me, although they were both kind of crazy and I was like in kindergarten or like in first or second grade. So that, I, but like those are, I didn't like them and they were kind of crazies, uh, but yeah, so we both liked each other, and she wasn't perfect by any means, uh, Clarissa, but she meant a lot to me, uh, like, and it just sucks that we couldn't date, and that things ended off bad, uh, I just want, I wish I could have closer with her, I, I, I doubt I ever will, I don't think I ever will, I don't think she ever wants to talk to me again, uh, I would just love just to get good closer, but I don't think that ever is gonna happen. But again, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just rambling at this point. Uh, I think it's a good thing to get this off my chest to cry because I've been holding this stuff in for in my own mind and even like deeper within my subconscious like trying to fight it like oh maybe hopefully it doesn't get out you know distract myself with games with videos and all that stuff with tv shows like golden girls criminal minds that i love watching and they're good but sometimes uh you know those shows actually remind me more so like criminal minds and the show there's spencer uh who i think is autistic uh he seems very autistic to me and it just made me sad because he had a girlfriend in the show that uh, he couldn't he couldn't interact with. He could talk to, but like the girl was like in like witness protection or something. And then like the girlfriend got killed, and like it was a whole thing. It's a whole FBI show, so you know it was a whole tragic thing. And like that left stretcher sad, and, and that made me like think about my own life. And then there's a character. Uh, David Rossi, who's played by Joe uh, Montega, I believe, uh, that actor, uh, but he looks a lot like my dad actually does, uh, so if you look up a picture of him, uh, Joe Montega, or Criminal Minds, David Rossi, you know, that looks a lot like my dad, you've seen pictures of my dad, how he looks, like, I showed him in, like, some things, like, in the browsing my house video, but, anyway, I gave you besides the point, the point being that, you know, when I tried to escape from games or TV shows, I keep getting reminded of my own life and I don't like that. Especially because I get incredible that David Rossi is a lot like my dad who, like a lot of his details of the show about being in the Marines, uh, being of the same age as my dad, uh, getting a purple heart, uh, serving in Vietnam, having three wives, my dad had three wives, my mom was the third wife. Like, like there's, ugh, there's like so many details about it, like it's just, like, just hard to ignore and, <laughs> and I don't know man, but uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be it guys for this video, again, I don't know how much I'm editing out of this or what, uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys, let you guys know how I'm feeling, how things are going on the channel and my own personal life, let me know if you guys have any advice for me on any of it, I will love it. Uh, I actually do feel a little bit better now, in all honesty. I think a good cry does help. Uh, I still worry about my own future, what are things gonna be like, but I guess I shouldn't worry. I, I have this tendency to worry about the future and think about things when they don't even happen yet, and I should just try to live in the moment, but even in the moment, I still try to. 
I stress things out like, oh, well, how do I deal with the playlist? So, I don't know. But, uh, anyways, guys, that's gonna be it. Like, subscribe, play some Xenoblade, and I'll kiss you guys next time for more. Peace. Uh, bye, everyone, and thanks for watching. I love you.